Dear friends, due to the novel COVID-19, the world and India has been locked down and we the teachers are unable to meet our students and handle our regular classes. So here comes the solution from Zoom video conferencing solutions for education. In this video, I'll explain how to use Zoom solutions to conduct online classes. First, you log into this website zoom.us slash education and go through the plans and pricing that gives the details about the plans available for Zoom and the features associated to each plan. So now the first plan is called a basic a personal meeting plan which is free. You can sign up for a free and the features of this plan are host up to 100 participants and unlimited one to one meetings 40 minutes limit on group meetings so using this free plan we can host a meeting up to 40 minutes only then unlimited number of meetings you have an online support video conferencing features web conferencing features then zoom uh, group collaboration features and also you have a security features then if you want to extend your meeting you have to go for the next plan the next plan is called a pro it's for a small teams and the cost is around 14.99 dollar per month per host so you know in order, in order to use the zoom for our online class go to the resources and download the zoom client so clicking on this will give you uh, the zoom client which is available in the zoom download center so here you have a zoom client for meetings so you can open it and you can download this particular client software which is basically a .exe file and get it saved into your system and run it and get it installed so once the installation is over you can close this one and now you will you'd be able to see the zoom icon on your desktop so just double clicking this zoom icon will enable a zoom window as shown here then then I, we can by using these options we can join a meeting if you have any join uh, URL or a join code you can join the meeting or if you would like to schedule a meeting you can schedule the meeting by entering the appropriate details and selecting the schedule you can schedule a meeting then also you have an option to share screen by using this you can share your computer screen then here in this uh, new meeting option there is an option here whether to start the meeting with video or with without video that means with your video uh, or without your video so generally I go for um, without video so I disabled the video and now I'm selecting here with new meeting so in a new meeting the zoom controls will appear the room layout will appear like this so it is the detail it's asking me to join with computer audio yes I'm checking I'm using the computer audio so for audio you can use a computer uh, built-in speakers and mic or also you can use external uh, like a headset for speakers and the mic then if you are want to uh, invite the people for attending your meeting to in extend invitations to the students what you can do is you can click on invite others and the invite others option will give you here uh, what is you can say that you can copy by you can select uh, copy URL to copy the uh, invitation details or you can select the copy invitation details so then if you want to have any want to send it by email you can straight away you can invoke email from here and you can copy the uh, details you know the, whatever the detail that you copied here that can be pasted into the uh, 
body and that can be sent as an invitation or if you have a whatsapp in your enabled in your system that also you can make use of it and you can easily send your meeting invitation to the participants so once you have sent it then you can close this close the screen and now you can go on proceed with your meeting so click here for sharing your screen or here also you can you see that sharing a screen option is there so select the share screen and that will tell you that will ask you to uh, to select what which screen so you select the screen of your interest so by using this you can use uh, whiteboard options also where you can uh, write your details and teach and uh, preferably what we can do is we can use the a PowerPoint so open your PowerPoint and uh, so probably that you can share it straight away to the students so if you have any PowerPoint that is uh, loaded into your system uh, if you can open the PPT and ensure whatever you do it in the system your uh, participants would be able to see that so I'm just opening a PowerPoint over here so the PowerPoint opened here and once open we can get into uh, slideshow slideshow will occupy the entire screen so from here on you can start explaining the content with the help the help of the PowerPoints and like this we can continue to explain the contents with the help of PowerPoints and not only that anything you are going to do it you want to simulate your program and to show to the students also you can do it by invoking the corresponding software and you'll be able to do it and even you want to or not write, write anything else you can do it or if you want to use a laser pointer you can select it here and you will be able to get your laser pointer this we can use it to continue to explain the points clearly then looking at the zoom meeting control we have some meeting controls here just you take the cursor to the top of the screen that will give you the uh, control zoom control meeting control so with this option with the mute option you can mute your audio so that others will not able to hear in between when you want to attend some calls or anything else you can mute your audio uh, that mic will be muted here then if you want to enable the participant to see your uh, uh, face then you can enable the video here otherwise you can let it be disabled only they will be able to see the screen then here in the manage participant if you click that you will get the list of participants over here and very particularly when the many participants are there uh, and to conduct the meeting without any disturbance what we have to do is you have to mute all mute all will mute their mic and also their video so we can conduct the meeting without any disturbances then also there is an option to annotate so using this annotate we can write the details on, on the screen probably if you want to tell the how the square wave appears we can write like this okay and you want to erase it i can erase it like this okay like this we can do the annotation the slideshow and explain to the uh, students then you can option that uh, option in the chat option we at the participants either you initiate chat or they can initiate the chat just by typing a message uh, here good morning you would be able to uh, send the message to everyone and also if you want to transfer a file you can transfer a file either by getting the file from the dropbox or a onedrive or google drive or from your computer so but there are multiple options are like this if even if you want to chat privately also in here if you enable you click that with the participants straight away you can privately also you can chat with them so that is with the group chat then if you want to invite again you can take the invitation from here you can invite the students and furthermore very important thing is if you want to record your entire class then you have an option here to record the entire class so uh, when you record it you no know, probably now at this stage if I click the record option here 
to the meeting will start recording and that is being highlighted here so once the meeting started uh, uh, recording so till the end till you end the meeting the, the meeting is going to the, uh, the proceeding of the meeting will be recorded then with the, what are the advantages of recording is so after the when you end the meeting you will be uh, prompted to uh, convert your meeting into a suitable format so this format consists of your chat history and an mp4 file and also then audio file so at the end of the meeting you will be able to collect all the details straightforward from this uh, tool so it is quite important for us to record it once you got an mp4 file you can upload that mp4 file into the youtube videos also okay then you can also allow the participants to write on your screen by using this annotated operation so that would be quite uh, irritating when somebody scribbles on your screen so better what you can do is you can disable by selecting this you can disable participants annotations okay so then after after the class what you can do you can select on end meeting so end meeting will prompt here do you want to meet in the meeting yes you can select end meeting for all since uh, we are going through the recording process so now it will prompt us to convert the meeting recording convert the meeting recording so using this we can convert our meeting recording so when you convert the meeting recording so it's getting converted as i told you you will be get able to get your um, mp4 file you will be able to get your chat history then you will be uh, getting your audio playback so we can use these a uh, thing for a uh, multiple purpose or any other purpose we want to upload your videos to the youtube also you can do that by loading that particular mp4 file into the system and now for 70 percentage is completed so you have a recording that needs to be converted before viewing it is saying okay so once this gets completed so 91 percentage 94 97 98 100 percentage so once this is over okay so if you look at the behind the screen so at 91 you can see that uh, I'm just minimizing it here so you would be able to see that already I have selected the path so this path it's getting saved here so zoom and this is the meeting ID and the time when you want when you're conducting the meeting all the details will be there and it is getting saved here so that you can use it for your multiple purpose so with this we can conduct our online classes without any interruptions provide there is a good internet connections hope this would be very helpful for you to conduct online classes thank you very much for watching this video